Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. Very grateful to be connecting with you after a 10 day sabbatical. Uh, I was up in Toronto with my spiritual father, Master Shah. And so today, which is Monday, it is the 4th of December, I believe. I will be serving you today with as much of the wisdom and information that I am allowed to share from this amazing experience, as well as I will be connecting with you with Master Shah's newest book. And here's Master Shah in the bottom here. He's the one in the middle. Let's see if you can focus. And um, his newest book is called The Greatest Love. And so I actually, the book came out approximately a couple weeks ago and I had not had a chance to um, look at it, to read it. And the wisdom in here is so amazing, so condensed, so um, <clears throat> uh, beyond amazing accurate uh, in, in its ability to just cut to the core of what do we need to do to make our lives happier and healthier. So today I'll be reading directly from that book um, and then reading your comments and sharing my perspectives. I'll also be offering a blessing. Um, I received a message as to what, how to serve you today with this book. So I'm looking forward to that. And I also wanted to thank you all for your patience. Uh, I know that I have not been live for the last 10 or 11 days, uh, but that's because I was very blessed to be able to attend the retreat in Toronto with my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah. Um, for anybody new watching this, all of these live streams, this last year of live streams, have all been dedicated to sharing his wisdom. I am just a messenger. And uh, I came across his wisdom about 10 years ago <clears throat> after training under a couple different enlightened beings. And when I came across his wisdom, what I uh, truly appreciated the most was the lack of ego, the integrity, the purity of the message, and even more than that, what I appreciated was that there was no interest in, in any, um, anything except awakening people to the wisdom so that they could change their lives to make themselves healthier and happier. There was also, uh, at least from my perspective, there was no orientation towards a particular belief system or religion or anything like that. It was all wisdom about soul and how you can open your heart and soul, how you can clear your blockages. Um, Master Shah, growing up in China, uh, grew up under a more of a Buddhist structure, but there was also a Confucianism uh, uh, component to his upbringing, and there was even a Tao uh, teaching upbringing uh, or, or, or component to his upbringing. But he never necessarily, according to him, ever isolated to any particular belief system. He honored them all and honors the ones all over the world with equality. Uh, the wisdom he brings to the table, the wisdom I share with you <clears throat> throughout uh, um, as long as I live will be the wisdom of love and peace and harmony and how we can have more of that in our lives. So for all those just tuning in new for the first time, uh, wondering will this be worth your time, I suggest you stick around. It will be well worth it. So I want to stop and acknowledge all those that have joined. So welcome, uh, Natasha. Welcome, Pat. Aloha to Angie Taylor. Uh, welcome also, Anne-Marie. Welcome, Kristen Rojas. Thank you, Kristen, for your service. <clears throat> welcome, Diana Victoria. Aloha, Kathy. Uh, welcome also to Maria Luisa Romero. And welcome, Becky Lafave. Aloha to everybody. Welcome also to Carol Whitney. And welcome also to Janine Tillman, Master Janine. Welcome Karina, aloha. Welcome also to Angela Diacomo. Welcome to John Sibin and aloha Crane. <coughs> and uh, Kristen has placed a very uh, special link on her post. This is Beyond Art Master Shah's Dao Calligraphy. And I'll be touching on that in today's live stream. Uh, the nature of the calligraphy because he has one of these in the books. Welcome Brianna. Welcome also to Jessica Stelt. Uh, Aloha Johnny and Aloha Master Elizabeth. <coughs> Welcome also to um, Angela Diacomo. Uh, if I missed your name, please forgive me. And welcome Chantal Antoinette. Thank you everybody for joining. I'm excited because today <coughs> is the first day I've had a chance to reconnect with all of you and 
<clears throat> you know, I speak a lot about my, my, my throat is clearing because I had some allergic reaction this morning. It's not a cold or anything. Uh, but uh, this whole week I spent with my spiritual father, Master Shah. And what happens when I am in his field is I go through a, a purification. In the last um, month and a half, I have actually had physical a representation of that purification. And it's actually been my skin. Um, I went to the first retreat in, in Belgium about uh, a month and a half ago, and it finished about uh, three weeks ago. <coughs> Excuse me. And I had a spot above my eye that was like a liver spot, you know, like a dark spot. And so, uh, but I noticed that it had, had raised up and was starting to act like a scab. Uh, but every time I tried to peel it away, it would not move. So it would just raise up, but didn't move. And I noticed that over the, the couple of weeks that it got smaller, 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 smaller. And by the time I got back home, it was completely gone. And so was the color spot. Now, I didn't do anything. I don't, you know, put on the heavy duty skin, skin creams or anything like that. Um, so it was very interesting to observe. <coughs> Um, now, prior to going to that retreat, I did receive a blessing from a skin calligraphy that Master Shah created uh, to remove my karma for healthy skin. And uh, I'm sure that had a variable, but in terms of um, the efficacy, it really started kicking in when I was in Master Shah's frequency. Then I went to this retreat, which I just got back from, and immediately uh, I had a lot of redness along the top here and along this side. It was itchy and scratchy and red, and I looked very unhealthy. And there, there were loving people who commented on that. And so, um, uh, but I observed it throughout the week and I, you know, I did put uh, some gentle lotions on it to, to calm it down. Uh, and it looks amazing now. And actually the, the, the skin color is much, much less. The redness is completely gone. And the, the spots that have grown on the side of my face from being young and stupid out in the sun too much, <coughs> um, have, have dissipated dramatically. And so this is an example of working with higher frequencies. And this is an example of the power that Master Shah carries. So I just give you that little bit uh, so that you know uh, the power that we'll be working with today. So welcome also to Jennifer Cress Smith. Welcome Anjali Flauta. Welcome Kate Nicole. Aloha Tatiana. Welcome Nikki Davis. Welcome Ferdy Cruz coming in from Hong Kong. Uh, and welcome also to Mamata Dasgupta. Hopefully I said that correctly. So thank you all for joining. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We're going to place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, which is the left hand over your heart center and the right hand point, uh, pointed upward. So it starts like a prayer position. We just drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand again remained to join it uh, upward. Welcome also to Pricey Womble. <coughs> Close your eyes. And I will connect and invite in all the beings of light. Dear our beloved Creator, all layers of the divine Tao, the Source, all the committees in heaven serving the plan of the light side. Dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Amitofu and Kuan Yin, all angels, healing angels and archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. <clears throat> I'm deeply honored and grateful for the opportunity to receive your blessings. And we ask you to please join us today to guide and bless this live stream that we receive the greatest wisdom, the greatest guidance, the greatest love from Master Shah's newest book. To the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please join us. We invite all Wanling to please come at this time to chant the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to offer their unconditional service. So again, for those that are new watching for the first time, this is a mantra. This connects heart to heart, soul to soul, clears blockages, and it is a blessing. Uh, you may just enjoy, close your eyes and receive the blessing. The rest of us, let us chant to serve. Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula 
halu la li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xian ha ling wo ai tu ran ran le wang li ying ren he mu xie shang shang ai ping an he xie shang ai ping an he xie i love my heart and so i love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony one more round lu la lu la li la lu la la li lu la lu la li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xin ha ling wo ai tu ran ran li wang li rong er mu shi shang shang ai ping on er xie ai shang ai ping on er xie i love my heart and so i love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony ha 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 thank you thank you thank you So thank you all for joining. Uh, welcome, welcome to all those. If I haven't mentioned your name, forgive me. Uh, let's see, welcome, Pricey Wombo, and welcome also to Lisa Zarniak, Aloha Tali, and welcome also to Marie uh, Arkeke. Welcome also to Princess Lee, who has just joined us. So uh, thank you for the cowboy comment. It's possible. I'm sure I have lived many different incarnations in many different ways. Today we're going to be focusing on the wisdom that has just come out in this new book called The Greatest Love. Now this book is backwards, but I'll go ahead and show it to you. <clears throat> and it's written by Master Shah, and he has a couple of co-authors, uh, which is Master Maya and Master Francisco. They are both top teachers. And I had not had a chance to read this until very recently, uh, yesterday. And because I, it, had, it only had a limited supply in Belgium when I was there and it sold out very fast. And so uh, I did not have a chance to read it and it was just released during this retreat. So I'm going to read some of the pages to you. And I'm gonna ask you to, <clears throat> to listen well. I'm going to ask you to, to put yourself in a place of a meditative state so that you can really, really, really hear. Because Master Shah doesn't waste a single word. He just, he's one of the most, um, uh, how do I put it? He, he states what he needs to state succinctly and it, he wastes no words. <clears throat> so the wisdom here is, is priceless. So let us delve into this. Now, for those that um, have the patience to stick around, you're going to receive a huge blessing that I will be delivering uh, from this book. And I'm going to do a special blessing into the book, and then I will offer that blessing to each of you. <clears throat> and again, excuse me for clearing my throat. Okay.
Introduction. Humanity and Mother Earth are facing huge challenges. Climate change resulting from global warming is contributing to ever more frequent and severe natural disasters. There are economic and <clears throat> political challenges, health challenges, and many other challenges. On the historic, at this historical critical time, how can we help humanity? How can we help our beloved Mother Earth? Most of us are deeply concerned about not only our own future, but also the future of humanity and Mother Earth herself. Millions of people are searching for ways to help themselves, their loved ones, humanity, and Mother Earth. Millions of people are joining and contributing to all kinds of movements to spread love and peace, to protect the environment and endangered species, and to help humanity and Mother Earth in other ways. The purpose of this book is to share with you sacred wisdom and powerful yet simple practices that can empower you to help your loved ones, humanity, and Mother Earth through this challenging period of time. <clears throat> there is ancient Chinese wisdom, Tian Ren He Yi, Mandarin Chinese. Tian means the big universe. Tian means the big universe, which includes countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes as well as heaven and Mother Earth. And Mother Earth is only one planet. Scientists are discovering more and more planets. Ren, remember the phrase is Tian Ren He Yi. Ren means human beings, which is the small universe. Tian Ren He Yi, He, he means join as one and Yi means one. So Tian Ren he, he Yi means the big universe and human beings join as one. You may wonder what the significance of the big universe and the human beings joining as one is. They are not in alignment. We believe this is why we are seeing so many natural disasters. There's a lack of alignment between human beings and the big universe. War and disease and others are in critical condition. Another ancient wisdom is Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Shen includes soul, heart, and mind. Qi means energy. Jing means matter. He Yi means join as one. So Shen Qi Jing He Yi means soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter join as one. A human being is made of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Shen Qi Jing He Yi. A human being is made of Shen, Qi, and Jing. Mother Earth is made of Shen, Qi, and Jing. What is it again? Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. The universe is made of Shen, Qi, and Jing. Every cell in a human being, every quark, and everything in, is made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Everyone and everything is made of Shen, Qi, and Jing. So what, why does a person become sick? Because the person's Shen Qi Jing has not joined as one. Their soul, heart, energy, and matter are not in alignment. Therefore, they have sickness. How can we overcome challenges in our health, in our emotions, in relationships, and more? How can we overcome Mother Earth's chaotic conditions? There is a spiritual solution to every challenge that exists. <clears throat> this Heart and Soul series of books offers sacred wisdom and practices to transform humanity and Mother Earth in every way. This first book on the Heart and Soul series, Greatest Love, which is this book I'm reading from now, shares a profound wisdom that has been taught throughout the ages by teachers in many traditions. What is this profound wisdom? that the solution to every challenge, the profound wisdom is this, the solution to every challenge is greatest love, which is unconditional love. And da, pronounced D-A-H, da, means biggest or greatest. I, Mandarin Chinese word I, spelled A-I, means love. The key one sentence secret that I shared with you 
and humanity is that love melts all blockages and transforms all life. Another ancient wisdom and practice that I share with humanity is Da Dao Jirjin. Da Dao Jirjin. Da means big. Dao means the way. Jirjin, Jir means extremely, and Jin means simple. The big way is extremely simple. What well, that means? The path to enlightenment, the path to healing, the path to whatever it is you would like is actually extremely simple. The one sentence secret, love melts all blockages and transforms all life. The greatest love is unconditional love, the message of this book. <clears throat> the simple and powerful wisdom, knowledge, and practical techniques shared in the Heart and Soul series are Da Dao Jir Jin. Many people today think, really? The solution for all kinds of challenges to humanity and Mother Earth, they're simple? From my many years of study and personal experience, I say wholeheartedly the answer is yes. Master Shaw says yes. If you want to know if a pear is sweet, taste it. If you want to know if the Heart and Soul series is truly a treasure for life transformation, then experience it. Read the book. Do the practice as described. Trust you will learn the highest wisdom and experience the simplest and most powerful techniques. Open your heart and soul to receive it. Give it a try. Practice it. Experience it. And benefit from it. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> so that's the introduction. It's very, very uh, potent. Um, so, any comments that you have, I'm happy to read and share. Um, I'm going to go into the next section. This is on page four of, again, the book is called The Greatest Love. It's backwards in your, in your screen, but that's what it's called. <clears throat> Master Shah says, if a fish lives in polluted water, the fish will eventually become sick first, and then the fish will die. This is a very simple fact. To save the fish, we must purify the water. The same is true for a human being. A human lives in a polluted environment. To save the human, he must purify the environment the human lives in. Let's delve deeper into this. <clears throat> the same is true for human beings. Human beings are sick because they live in a polluted environment. It is necessary and important to address all the pollution in our world. Air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, and more. But the most vital pollution to address, the most important, is the pollution of Shen, Qi, and Jing. What is Shen, Qi, and Jing? I repeated it many times. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter pollution accounts for much of the sickness we see today. To help people to be happy and healthy, purify, just like you purify the water and then the fish gets to live, you purify the Shen, Qi, and Jing. Purify the soul, purify the heart, purify the, the uh, mind, energy, and matter. Shen includes soul, heart, and the mind. All of these can become polluted or blocked. Soul pollution and soul blockages include all kinds of negative karma. There are two kinds of karma, good karma and bad karma. In every moment, we can create bad karma if our words, our thoughts, and our actions cause harm to another being. Today, did you <clears throat> have a negative thought about somebody else? Instantly, you created karma. Today, did you act in an inappropriate manner, lash out in anger, irritation. That's a pollution. This includes gossiping, speaking negatively about others, having unkind thoughts about others. These are all recorded. This creates pollution in our Shen, Qi, Jing, He, Yi, in our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. 
doing harmful or hurtful things such as lying, cheating, stealing, killing, and taking advantage of others. Through our words, through our thoughts, and through our actions. A lot of us think our thoughts don't matter. They do. It's all recorded. <clears throat> because of these mistakes, we have accumulated negative karma or what's called Shen blockages. Karma is cause and effect. Karma is cause and effect. Action and reaction. The pain and suffering that we have <coughs> excuse me again, caused others to return to us in the form of lessons. This is our spiritual debt. On the other hand, we have created good karma too. The good that we have done includes our actions and our help to serve others, our positive thoughts for others, about others, the uplifting, loving, and encouraging words that we offer others. They come back to us in the form of blessings that can enrich every aspect of our lives, bringing us health, happiness, positive energy, intelligence, loving relationships, abundance, finances, and more. Many people believe that what goes around comes around. This is the universal law of karma, just different verbiage. And it applies to everyone and everything. Karma is the root cause of success and failure in every aspect of life. And this includes health, relationship, finances, and more. Good karma will bless your life. <clears throat> heart blockages, heart pollution. Remember what is Shen? Shen is soul, heart, and mind. Heart blockages, heart pollution, includes greed, jealousy, anger, lack of wisdom, in our activities, in our behaviors, speech, and thought. I'll give you a direct example. I'm at a Master Shah retreat, and he talks the whole time about honoring the ten da, uh, honoring the greatest qualities, un unconditional love and forgiveness, uh, no ego, um, gratitude, right, service, um, being being uh, compassionate. Uh, carrying immense light for others, right? Enlightenment. So he's always talking about the ten da, how to speak, think, act. Here I am at a Master Shah retreat. He offers a, a special incense for for purpose for uh, uh, serving, <clears throat> and he only has a limited amount. And so I'm one of the folks that runs up to the front to take advantage of this, and they're passing it, passing it, passing it, and I'm grasping mine, not willing to pass it backwards. Now, I observed that. I said, wow, Paul, you really have to grow some more. You really need to be selfless. You need to be where you have no attachment. That was an ego response and it was a selfish response. That was not a, a, a well-balanced um, action that allows um, an activation of what will clear the polluted water of my life. And so we must pay attention to all those little areas where we, um, where we make those kinds of mistakes. Immediately, you know, I apologized and, uh, uh, to heaven. And, um, you know, but if we don't see it, how can we clear it? Okay? So that's an example for you to work with. <clears throat> Mind pollution and blockages include negative mindsets, negative attitudes, Negative beliefs. There's a big difference. A negative mindset is, um, you know, no matter what I do, it'll never work. Well, that's a, that's a karma. That's something that maybe had you had said to others in this or a previous time. And so now you keep thinking that yourself. You have to do forgiveness for these things. What's a, what's a negative attitude? A negative attitude is... Um, uh, just being being negative about everyone and everything in your general environment. No particular reason. You just want to be that way. Uh, a negative belief. Okay, that could be something related to a belief system or religion, something like that. And it's not true. <clears throat> Ego and attachments. They are very sharp, very hard to locate because some, there's very la layers of those. But these are all mind blockages. Shen, soul, heart, mind blockages. And this is the pollution that we live in. Look around, guys. 
humanity is a significant mess right now. It, it, uh, you know, how many of us, I, I was driving today, and I drove by the high school, and there was about 20 or 30 uh, uh, teenagers out waiting for the bus, and they were all like this. What were they looking at? Their cell phone. Uh, now, I look at my cell phone all the time, but it's for business purposes. Um, they're just wasting time not communicating heart to heart, soul to soul with somebody else. It's just another example. It's not a judgment, but it's an, a representative example of how we are moving away from oneness and towards selfishness, um, self-centeredness. And so uh, we need to wake up to these kinds of things to stop the pollution because, <clears throat> you know, I don't watch horror movies ever, but that's a form of a pollution. Uh, I do watch movies that have some shooting and violence in it, but I'm toning that back. I, I, I'm just learning that it's a pollution. And so um, these are choices that we need to make to limit the pollution in our environment. Now that's just me. What about you? Now take that times 7 billion people. When we recognize that 7 billion people have all these different forms of pollution, we can start to understand how we are out of balance with humanity, how we are out of balance amongst ourselves to each other, how we are out of balance with our alignment to source, our creator, how we are out of balance with our soul, how we are out of balance with Mother Earth. And this is the wisdom that Master Shah wants to bring, that the solution can be very simple. Da Jiao Jur Jin, the big way is very simple. The big universe and the small universe are very connected. The big universe, heaven, Tao, source, creator, all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. The smallest universe is human being. We are connected. We are not disconnected by any stretch of the imagination. So when we <clears throat> work on ourselves, when we are assisting others to be happier and healthier, we are clearing our Shen Qi Jing. We are clearing our polluted water. We are assisting others to clear their polluted water, and it's assisting the entirety of the whole to clear the pollution of humanity and Mother Earth. Because that is truly the biggest pollution, is our thoughts, words, our actions that pollute our mind, our heart, uh, and our attention to oneness. So this is just the first chapter of this beautiful little book. This is a pocket book. This is a gem. Now inside here, Master Shah has put in one of his calligraphies. And Kristen, if you scroll through her timeline, you will see a post in there <coughs> um, of a new link that Master Shah has put up. And it's just beautiful, uh, a description of the value of the calligraphies. And Master Shah, for those that are new, uh, is an extraordinary human being that has received extraordinary powers and abilities to serve humanity, and those include putting power or healing into objects and things. One of them is what's called a calligraphy. It's on the front of the book. You can see it right there. And it's inside the book. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first I'm going to bow my head to my spiritual father, Master Shah, for transmitting power to me that I can put then power into this book. I'm going to uh, download into this book Divine love. This is a jindan. A jindan is a light ball. And divine love is not human love. Divine love is heaven love. It's, it's a very pure and unconditional love. So I'm going to transmit that into this book. And then I'm going to uh, give everybody that's watching a blessing with it. And we're all going to, uh, to work on clearing one of the Shen Qi Jing blockages that is most relevant to you. When I spoke, did you notice that, you know, hey... Uh, that's also me. I have, I have some, some selfish greed uh, issues I need to clear. Or you might be thinking, uh, you know, I have some negative mindsets, attitudes, or beliefs I would prefer to clear. Uh, maybe it's a health issue. So you can request for whatever is most important to you, and you certainly don't need to write it. Uh, it's, a, it's a choice between you and heaven. <clears throat> and so in this calligraphy uh, is, has been placed extraordinary power. So I will do what's called tracing. Now, if you, if you go out and purchase this book, you can receive this as well. I'm going to, uh, to make an offer at the end here where you can get this book. Um, and what I have, I have, I don't know, 30 or 40 of them here. Um, and I will put this same transmission into the book 
if you want to honor for it, and then you'll have a personal book with the calligraphy, with the transmission of divine love placed into the book. And I'll reveal that in a minute, but I want you to experience it first, okay? <clears throat> so, this uh, calligraphy, wow, I just love this calligraphy, Da I, this is what it looks like. Again, I know it's backwards to you, but Da I, it means the greatest love. And so that's literally the frequency that's put in this calligraphy. So, um, if you have third eye, then watch. I want you to report on what you see when I transmit this into the book. There are, uh, maybe there are still some masters watching, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see, welcome to Nina. And welcome Peggy Blake. Welcome Straub Maria. Welcome Dvorka and your daughter. Welcome Julia Lawrence. Welcome Michelle. Uh, welcome also to M.A. Drade. And welcome Edna. Welcome Tannis Williams. And welcome Erica and Gina Bailey. Welcome Ilona. <clears throat> and excuse me if I missed anybody. So again, those with third eye, uh, please share what you may see when I do this transmission into this book. Divine order. Divine love. Jindan. Into this greatest love book as appropriate transmission how 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 thank you thank you thank you i'll share with you what i saw in a few minutes i want to see what you saw <clears throat> welcome nelly thank you for joining so now I will turn on the transmission I just put in this book and I will connect to the calligraphy. So pay attention to how I do this because you can purchase the book by yourself through Amazon or you can, you can get it through me and I'll put a transmission in it and, and uh, mail it to you. It'll be a bit more if you get it through me because I'm going to put a special blessing in it <coughs> uh, and I have to mail it. So pay attention to how I invoke the book and the transmission. And then I will lead you through a request and a forgiveness. So uh, let's do the request and forgiveness first. So everybody prepare to receive, sit up straight. Back away from the back of the chair, <clears throat> either in a relaxed lotus position or feet flat on the floor so you can receive Mother Earth's frequencies as well. The ideal uh, body posture is Tongue against the roof of your mouth near the front of your teeth, barely touching, nice and gentle, very relaxed. This connects the Ren and Du Meridians and allows uh, the body movement, the Chi, to move. Close your eyes. If it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved Creator, all layers of the Divine, the Tao, the Source, all the beings of light who have come to this practice today, my name is, state your name three times, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. <clears throat> Dear the soul of Master Shah's book, Da I, the greatest love, the blessing for divine love just placed within this book, all of the blessings placed within the calligraphy in this book. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I would be very grateful to receive a blessing for my request. Now state your request silently. You, you state it to God, source, whatever you call, whatever the name is for who you talk to, you ask them for the request. Only one request. <clears throat> I am very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we do a quick forgiveness practice. So continue to repeat as if it is comfortable. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to you in this or any time that I am unaware of, especially for the conditions that I am making requests for, if I have harmed you or hurt you in such a way where you are, have suffered the way I am suffering for my request, then I sincerely, 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 sincerely apologize. I would not wish this form of suffering upon anybody but I recognize the nature of karma. I recognize the nature of the law of karma. And I am suffering in the area of my request. <clears throat> so 
so I ask forgiveness to all those souls that I may have harmed. Please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. So now I will invoke these two. Uh, you heard how I invoke them, the divine love and the calligraphy. So for anybody that just tuned in, you are in the process to receive a blessing. Set up straight, prepare to receive. Welcome Master Uma and welcome also Susan. Or welcome to anybody else. Blessing, including divine love and the Da'ai blessings in this calligraphy for everybody watching, everybody listening to this on podcast as appropriate for their request. Blessing begin. <clears throat> I will chant also to serve you. Da'ai, 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 Da'ai. I die, die, die. Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages, purifies your heart. And so die, die, greatest love melts all blockages, purifies your heart and soul. Ye sure die, Wu Tiao Jian I, Rong Hua Zai Nang, Xin Xin Shen Ming. Die, die. Da I da I da I da I da I da I melt so blockages. Releases impurities, opens the heart and soul, release negative karma. Da I da I, Wu Tiao Jian I. Rong Hua Zai Nang Xin Xin Shen Ming Yi Shi Dai Wu Tiao Jian Ai Rong Hua Zai Nang Xin Xin Ming. I will continue to trace on your behalf <clears throat> and I will do a soul reading for you as to what is happening at this time. How? This is the soul of the book, The Greatest Love. When I was created, I made a vow to serve humanity unconditionally. I was very blessed to have been given a very high level of purity with which to accomplish my tasks. I was very blessed to receive the calligraphy of Da I within my covers. It, in fact, is blessing me. The Da I calligraphy is the portal through which countless layers of divine Dao and Source Creator can come.
through to this third dimensional plane to serve humanity. Without this calligraphy between my covers, I would not be able to serve in the same way. Each of you are receiving an extraordinary blessing to release mind blockages, heart blockages, and physical level human blockages. The purification that each of you are currently receiving is not an insignificant amount. It matters not whether you observe the difference. What is important is that you trust that your beloved Divine Creator holds you in His heart very dearly and is always sending you servants to help you, to uplift you, to support you, and to serve you. This unconditional service is always and forever. It has been transmitted into these pages and it is my service to deliver those messages of unconditional love to each of you. If you were to acquire me through gift or through purchase, your life would be forever blessed. Even more so if you actualized the wisdom within my pages. For these are not simple words. They are the words of the highest. They are the words of the greatest love. It has been my honor to serve you through this calligraphy on this day. This is the soul of the greatest love book. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ha. Uh, well, that was wonderful to hear the message from the soul of the book. I hadn't actually connected to it. Uh, so it has a, a very regal energy, like a, almost like a king, like a king energy. You know, like I am here to serve. I take my responsibility very seriously. Uh, it's very interesting energy uh, to hear the book share. So I hope you enjoyed that blessing. You're uh, more than uh, welcome to share whatever experiences you've had as a result, uh, especially if it's anything that you know for sure that is measurable. Chantal says she saw a blue and pink orb ball. <clears throat> Did you see it uh, in and around me or in and around you, Chantal? And so welcome everybody else. Welcome also to Dakota. Welcome Loveness. Welcome Susan. Uh, welcome Anne-Marie Love. Welcome also to Nelly, and thank you all for joining. So, do receive this book however you'd like. Now, um, divine love is, as I indicated, it is not human love. It is a much, much, much higher frequency. So for anybody who is interested in receiving this book, this is the offer I'm willing to make you. The book itself is about $10, 11 12 depends on where you go to buy it at. Um, the Divine Love Transmission is, is normally a $100 transmission. And you can, of course, uh, uh, Soul Heart Mind Body Transplant. So when I put it into the book, what I saw, because I, I did the transmission into the book, what I saw was that every single word in the book uh, it just it popped out and it was glowing with, with light. It was like every single word, every single letter was was jumped off the pages and is glowing uh, golden light. So when you read it, uh, the Shen Qi Jing of the book, the soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter of the book will come to your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter and the frequencies will transform. The frequencies in the book help you transform your frequencies. When you do the practices from the book, the book will serve you. When you trace the calligraphy, the calligraphy 
has uh, even higher frequencies because of the blessing. So what I, what I will do is uh, place a request for anybody who's interested for $50. I will put the transmission in the book and give you the book. So um, both. And then um, if it's in the U.S., it's $5 more for the shipping. And if it's outside of the U.S., I'll add $10 for the shipping. Um, so it's actually more of a gift. It's really kind of nominal. But the blessings within will be substantial. Okay? So if you're interested in that, um, you can just go to my home page. I, I didn't set up anything for this. I just got the message today when I was um, uh, preparing for this. Heaven said, put divine love transmission into it. Offer the book. So, okay. So I, I wasn't even prepared for that. Um, and uh, uh, on my page, you can, you, can, you can just email me or text me and, and I can figure out a way to, to send you the, the invoice, the request for the, the financial blessings. But so basically, $50, it'd be 55 if you're in the U.S., it'd be 60 outside of the U.S. because that covers the shipping, the cost of the book, and the blessing. Normally, it would be about, probably about $130, $140 to do the same thing on your own. Um, so that's, that's, you know, if you're interested, it's up to you. Uh, happy to serve. So, uh, Dove said she saw something with the transmission. And she said, this is so beautiful, so speechless. She saw her smaller than small universe uh, in her heart chakra. Each planet was a beautiful dot eye calligraphy. Wow, beautiful. <clears throat> and Kristen Strachan said she did feel a squeezing sensation around her heart area. Uh, Kate Nicole said she saw a beam of pinkish light coming down and around her like sitting in a tube of color. Beautiful. <clears throat> we have greatest gratitude. Kathy Arnold saw a giant ball of the brightest, brightest, lightest light all around. Wow. Wonderful. And welcome, Dean. Haven't seen you in a while. Great to see you here. Welcome, Barca. And so wonderful. Yeah, that, that's fine, Kate. PayPal is fine. Um, just connect to anybody who wants to connect with me afterwards. Just... Uh, uh, you can email me at asoulhealer at yahoo.com. You can come to my website. You can Facebook Messenger is always very efficient. You can just message me that way. And uh, I'll just figure, you know, well, there's a way to send you a, a request for, um, for finances and then I'll just get your address and everything and mail it out. <clears throat> so I hope that you received value today from uh, this wisdom. I know I did. Uh, I still haven't read the whole book. Uh, I think one of the things I enjoyed the most, actually, was hearing the soul of the book talk. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty cool. I liked his energy. He had a lot to say. He's very, you know, he's so, how, so proud to have been created to serve humanity. Very dedicated. Very, uh, very big soul, actually. So there are practices in here in the back of the book. Um, just good stuff. Really, really good stuff. So I hope you get it. Happy to serve you. If you came in a little late and you missed this, please go back, watch from the beginning, uh, receive the blessings that I offer at the end. And thank you for coming. Uh, I will see you here tomorrow. Uh, and I look forward to continue serving and connecting to all of you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. And thank you also to uh, Kristen for posting all the different uh, pieces of information in her chat boxes. Okay, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the beings of light. Please respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody.